after dinosaurs run. We used to think a T-Rex was slower than a human, but a new study suggests otherwise. Scientists at the University of Manchester have used so-called evolutionary robotics to generate computer models to illustrate how different types of dinosaur may have moved. They also generated models for humans as well as ostriches and emus and then raced different species against each other. Humans and T-Rexes tied at 18 kilometers per hour, while the chicken-sized dinosaur, Comsognathus, raced into the lead at over 60 kilometers per hour. Disappointed by the Perseid meteors this year? Then you might want to keep an eye out for the glowing comet-like tail behind the double star Mira. Might be a bit tricky to spot since it's 350 light years away and only visible in ultraviolet light, but if you could see it, you'd notice the tail extends for an incredible 13 light years. That is the length of three of our full moons. The ultraviolet glow is produced by bits of dust and gas colliding, producing fast-moving electrons, which go on to strike hydrogen molecules. Hopefully you won't have to wait too long to see Japan's Hayabusa spacecraft. It's meant to be returning to Earth with bits of the asteroid Itakawa on board. The mission looked lost when the craft lost its chemical fuel source, but engineers have since tried to bring it home using two of its iron engines. One of those engines was about to fail, but now a third has been coaxed back to life. Hayabusa should land in the Australian outback in 2010, when we'll find out for sure if the mission was a success. New Caledonian crows once again prove their tool using credentials when New Zealand researchers set them the task of reaching some food with a long stick. The only snag being they first had to use a short stick to get the long stick. Such meta-tool use proved to be a cinch for the crows. And what's really incredible is that there was very little trial and error involved. Six out of seven crows solved the problem immediately. These cognitive skills put the crows on a par with apes and humans. Even monkeys would have struggled with such a task. Hello. But let's not be too hard on monkeys since it turns out they can do maths, even multiplication. Italian scientists taught capuchin monkeys to buy food using tokens. Yellow tokens were worth three times as much food as blue ones. And given the choice between a blue one and a yellow one, the monkeys chose a yellow token. Things got more complicated when the monkeys had to choose between a yellow token and up to four blue ones. Some monkeys always opted for quantity, while others always chose the yellow token. But a number of capuchins consistently chose the option that bought them the most food. Not only could they discriminate between quantities, but they could use symbols to represent them, much like we use coins. That's a pretty smart monkey. I can do anything. I can do anything. I can do anything, I can do anything, I can do anything, I need nothing from you.